what is up guys students we're here and just a little quick uh report on the updated results on the pittsburgh pro 2021 i was looking forward to this show mainly to be honest uh following the media social media and so on for me it, it was about the wellness all right the wellness girls I, I i was following a couple of the wellness girls and uh i wasn't too concerned about uh classic physique unless i i thought somebody was uh coming back or like making a comeback or making a return like let's say uh steve larius was going to be in that show uh someone like that you know that would concern me more or, or like draw my attention or something like if uh the mr olympia in physique for example like brandon uh he was gonna like compete just you know just for the sake of competing or something like that so but so that's it i, I think i made that point so l let me get just right into it though uh the classic physique starting off with the classic guys you know divine wilson won it if you do not know uh he's the guy that won it i remember in uh him competing against i think it was steve larius when he, uh, he got beat by steve i think it was steve or alex and he was he was no it wasn't alex it was steve and i think it was conditioning wise there was a lot of arguments he uh got an interview where he said he felt he was robbed but uh you know he, he didn't give up i knew he did a, a couple or a few shows afterwards i did not really follow up on him but i thought his physique i thought he could have uh it could have gone either ways you know in terms of structure i think steve had gotten it but in terms of conditioning it was divine back then and and i think he just kept doing the same show that's his show and uh he finally won it man uh, a couple of years after a few years after so i give props to him uh glad to see what he he can do and go against those guys and he's definitely gonna gotta up his game because every, that's how it's going man it's a fast-paced world and everything is improving everyone is improving in the top three in every division in the bodybuilding all right olympia uh next to him would be uh i think it was mudby a suburbs uh fathers and i am not familiar with him and there's dimitri i will not try to pronounce that last name to tie my tongue and break my teeth so yeah props to those guys those are the top three guys i do think dimitri you know he can definitely bring his legs up but nevertheless the judges are uh, i do not know the, the other guys i did not see any videos uh, moving on to physique this here i'm not i do not follow physique but this Chiron guy here kiran or whatever I, I saw him at the Olympia and I thought he was impressive, you know, I, I did on my channel, he had a, a lot of views, a lot of people was interested in him. And I, I thought his guy has an amazing chest, man, I, his chest really, he looked like he did a, a, a like a, a, a thousand push-ups and then went on stage and that was it. His chest was just there like looking at you instead of you looking at it, it was like just popping and uh, I apologize for the the background noise guys if it's uh too much you know it's a busy day here uh and uh yeah you know it's i i want to get this out so i hope this doesn't affect you guys hearing me and uh yeah raymond man he beat raymond you know 2019 or it was a 2020 uh the champ and it he he beat him and he was runner up at the last olympia so props to him for doing damage i, I do not know I, I guess that's not the best version of edmund uh i do not think so i'm not saying that he cannot beat edmund on his best version but this here like i said i do not follow physique uh mostly coming on to the olympia or like in the arnold classic that's when i pay attention more to classic physique and maybe even a little bit of bikini and so on you know if you're into the sport and you you follow bodybuilding i i think you should be you don't have to but it's good to be abreast with everything and, and know what's going on you know I cannot wait to see those guys on the Olympia stage if Kiran will beat him again and whatever, you know. But uh, Aaron Banks, third place. I do not know him. Like I said, I do not follow physique. But props to this guy as well for third place. And moving on to the ladies, divisions, uh, figure. Now, this here is kind of different, you know. Uh, Maria Pereira, or I think it's Maria Diaz. Anyways, she took first place. Christine Stern, I do not follow uh, Fig really, but I think uh, it's Sydney Gillen, is, uh, she's the top girl, I know that from the, when it's the Olympia, then I know all the top people, you know, so congrats to them, uh, third place was Heather Diaz, or it's pronounced Diaz, so that's third place, and those are your top three for uh, the figure division, moving on to wellness so wellness is more like about that, a little bit more narrow, smaller, upper body, 
and I guess it will improve. It might improve more to like a more uh, balanced thing. But I'm, I'm talking off the bat. I could be wrong, but that's what I see. Definitely those glutes and those ties on, on those ladies are, are just uh, big now. Just bigger. So, yeah. All right. You know, I really had Yari. I was really following Yari. And I thought she and uh, uh, Sonny Andrews is not going to be a tight one between them. But Sonny came in fourth. Uh, Yari, Yurishna Ayala, second place. And Angela Borges. I do not follow her, but I did see some Instagram news on her. But nevertheless, congrats to Angela Borges. Or Borges I do not know to pronounce her last name. There was only one Angela there. Yurishna second. You know, they all look um, good. I do not know to me. I, I do not know what they're really fully judging on. But, you know, they all look good. And Amanda Rezende or Rezende or whatever. Uh, she she looked um, good as well. And like I said, Sonny Andrews coming in at fourth. I really had her playing around in the top three. But it is what it is. You know, uh, maybe as the division grow, I'll be people... All of us will get more familiar as to what to look for or, or what our thoughts are and in terms of what's, you know, the whole glute and ties versus the conditioning and how the waistline, I guess it's a lot about a streamlined waistline thing. I think we're uh, going to get more familiar with the criteria for wellness. And so moving on to, yeah, the bikini, Ashley, Ashley took it. I'm familiar with her, you know, she's uh, two or three times Miss Miss Olympia, then she took a long break and she never uh, won it back since then, but she's always been like placing, I think, top three, top six and so on, and she just recently won the the Watch Warrior show or something like that uh, in the bikini, so this is her uh, second win in uh, maybe less than a month or less than two months. So props to her, you know, she knows what she has to do. I give her props for being so consistent. She's won so many titles. I think she has the most pro wins in bikini in the history of the whole bikini. All right, so Alicia, I do not know her last name, Fashini, Fashan or whatever. She got second. Uh, she she looked damn amazing. I do not know what these people look for. They all look good. And Lauren Dannen Miller, she's uh, third place. Congrats to all of them and they all look good. I'm gonna wrap the video up. You know, I want to make, didn't plan on making it this long. That's it, guys. If you made it this far and enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, remember to please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell button for notifications. Until my next video, please take care and stay safe.